the last time that you saw this plane fly, I was uh, using a 6x4 APC prop, a uh, 2200 kV brushless motor. It weighs about 47 grams. This is your typical park dip motor. And I was running a Gen Zace 3-cell uh, 1550 milliamp hour 20C battery. It was pretty quick with that. In fact, I really liked that setup, but I was looking for more speed. So I went ahead and placed an order from Hobby Parts, and let me show you what I got. So it's a little hard to see in here, but um, I'm actually running the uh, 60 amp ESC that I originally got from my A10 build. So I got the 60 amp ESC in there. I've got a um, Sky LiPo right here. It's a 1600 milliamp hour uh, 20C discharge battery. And what you can't quite see under the hood here is a about a 26 or 2700 kV brushless outrunner motor that I'm running on here. Um, I believe they market it for ducted fans, but I'm, I put a prop on it. And I also got the prop from them. This is a four and a half by four and a half um, propeller and I have to say I'm really happy with the uh, the construction quality on this propeller the plastic um, it seems it's flexible but yet also strong I've already run this prop a couple times haven't had any problems uh, haven't been landing on pavement but I haven't broken the prop either uh, so it's working real well so I'm gonna go ahead and put this plane back in the air with this new power setup we're gonna go and see how fast it can go hopefully I can get some good consistent um, full throttle passes by me and get some good audio because what I'd like to do is see if I can run this through a program that actually uh, calculates how fast you're going based on the Doppler sound that it's getting. So uh, let's put it up in the air and see how fast it can fly. Okay, so here we go. We've got the new power set up for the uh, Mikey's RC Pylon Racer. All right, there was a nice pass right there. This thing handles like it's on rails really like how this plane flies. I don't know if it's because of the speed it's going or what, but uh, barrel rolls just fine. You know, all the typical kind of aerobatics you might want to do. There we go, there's a nice loop. Kind of fun to watch the wings flex on this under the high G load turns. But here's another speed pass. Okay, that was a little bit too high and far away for me. Let's get this thing down and uh, do a little bit better one here. Oh. All right, that was a good one. Really like the sound of this thing. It's got a real cool sound. All right. Now the cool thing about this plane is it actually seems to uh, glide fairly well. There's power off. Look at that thing. It's just got a pretty good glide ratio, actually. Surprisingly, there's a lot of weight for not a lot of wing area on this thing. Well, that's enough of speed passes. Let's just have some fun with this thing now. Watch this. Whoa. This thing is just real quick. I really like how this uh, 1600 milliamp hour battery is doing. Uh, I had a 1300 milliamp hour four cell in here and just did not uh, last very long. Wow. Whoops. <laughs> I lost my orientation. Just pull up on the elevator. That's what you got to do to save it. Here we go. Power off. See how it's slow. We can. Well, he's going to glide for a little while. There we go. So I think I finally got this plane all dialed in with the right uh, motor, propeller, ESC, and battery combo. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up the plans for you guys and get these out there. I don't exactly know how long it's going to take me, but I guarantee you, I will get you plans for this plane. Ooh. <laughs> but it survived, no problem.